Entering his sixth year now in the National Football League, fresh off of a big win against Kansas City, getting set to take on the Raiders on Monday Night Football is from the Los Angeles Chargers, Joey Bosa. How are you, Joey? I'm good. It's crazy when you when you hear six years. Six it's, years? Uh, hard to believe. Why? Fast? Is it gone fast? Uh, fast. The days are long, the years are fast. I, I've heard that quote once, and I, I, I feel like it. It explains the season perfectly. Well, that's that's what people say about having children, Joey. <laughs> yeah. um, which yeah. you know, you have not entered that realm. No, correct? not 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 yet. Okay, very good. At yeah, least that's what, as I know. This, as I know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they say about having kids. I've got three of them, and that is exactly what it is like. Um, yeah. what, how how are you different though from when you were in the league six years ago? Oh, how am I different? I mean, at the core of, I mean, who I am, I think I'm obviously the same person, but I think I've learned a lot about myself and uh, I think I'm just a, a better guy. Um, I think I treat people with more respect. I think I'm try to be more grateful, more thankful every day. And obviously you fluctuate, you have hard times and this and that, but I, I just feel like I've, I've grown to appreciate things and I've learned how to, how to treat treat people especially close to me um how i really want to and just kind of get in control of my mind and my emotions i can kind of act the way I, I i'd want to the way i know i'd i'd be proud of rather than kind of reacting to some things and 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 being uh, emotional and and saying some things that you later on regret does that make you a better football player too yeah, we got deep all of a sudden. No, no. I mean, look, I, I, that, I'll go wherever you want to go, Joey. I mean, you know, no, it's good. I'll, I'll follow your lead. Yeah, here. no, I think it has definitely made me a better football player. Um, my ability to just kind of stay in the moment, focus on the next play, because I've realized that good or bad, it can suck you up and it can ruin, not, maybe not ruin, but affect your day, affect the next play, because you go, you go out there, you have a great series, you get a sack, you get a TFO, whatever, you're playing great. All right, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm an animal. I'm playing great. The rest of this game is just going to go uh, smoothly, and that doesn't happen unless you come to play every single play. You stay in the moment, and on the, on the flip side of that, you have a bad play. And I, I can get in my head a lot and be like self-doubt, this and that. You're trying to overanalyze things. And when I'm able to just say, all right, forget that. What do I have next? Um, I'm just able to stay in the moment and, and be a much more effective player. And that obviously is, is the same off the field with my relationships. How big was that W against Kansas City last week? Oh, it was huge. Um, both one and one uh, going in on the road. I've, I haven't played there in, with such nice nice weather yet. Um, so this time of the year, was it was really nice. The grass field was perfect condition, but uh, it was just a fun game because it was, I mean, it happened exactly how, how Coach was talking uh, talking about. He said, we're going to get up on these guys, and when, when they start making a run, that's when we have to come together and play our best ball. And as I've seen a million times before, just 14 points isn't enough or even 20, 21 points isn't enough to keep these guys down. They usually do a great job going into the <clears throat> locker room at halftime and coming out with a great plan. Obviously, Andy Reid is a, is a legend. So uh, we knew the game was far from over after the half. And uh, I think it just it showed a resilience to be able to go down and then come back, make the plays we needed to on defense. Uh, we talked all week about getting the ball, and we got it four times, and I think uh, we needed every one of them. So, you know, Joey Bosa, you might be breaking news here because one of the most used coaching cliches from coaches is, I don't have a crystal ball. Are you telling me Brandon Staley has a crystal ball? He, is that what you're he, telling me right there, he, he seems like he does sometimes. Um, it might be a secret. He just goes and rubs his crystal ball in his locker in, in the corner, and then he's like, all right. I got the plan. We're going to get up on the Chiefs. They're going to make a run, <laughs> and we're going to stop them, and we'll take yeah. the ball away. I mean, literally, you're saying that's what he mapped out for you guys. Yeah, he just he just knew, I think, like we all did, that 
once you get up on these guys, they always do a great job of coming back. They, you hardly beat them. Uh, I mean, when have they lost by more than a touchdown or, or other than the Super Bowl, obviously, yeah, really. but, um, but I mean, with a guy like Mahomes and all the, all the weapons that they have, you, you gotta be ready because they, they can make a push at any time and they're a resilient team. But, uh, I just think he knew that at some point they were going to get some yards, get a big play on us. And that's when we need to come together and really, really shut it down and, and play as a team. And we, and I, I, I believe that it was really a team win. Joey Bosa here before Monday night football, the chargers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders right here, uh, currently on the rich Eisen show. So Joey, um, how has Brandon Staley changed things? How was, how are things different than your previous years? No, oh, he's 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 great. Um, I'm always hesitant to to trust new people. Obviously, coming in, you learn. Through my six years, I've also learned how to be a little uh, hard to uh, hard to please with with some things. Sometimes, mm -hmm. um, I've learned to not just obviously trust people right off the bat. It takes time to build that relationship and. Uh, I think, I mean, from day one, uh, he, we went up into his office and we talked for about two hours straight, uh, talked about his plan for me, just about life, about his story and his family. And uh, ever since then, I feel like he's just been a genuine, uh, genuine guy. He, I was like, man, is this an act? Is he, is he just trying to, uh, I don't know, get our, get our respect, be, be a like, liked guy. Uh, no, but he's he's here. He's going to tell you tell you the truth. He's going to be who who he is, and uh, I just like how he takes control of the whole team. What's really impressive to me he has this crazy memory. He could remember the specifics of this play, this and that, and he's just a he's just a really knowledgeable guy when it comes to every position. He can go into any any position room, and he, he could talk football he could talk technique it's not just oh this this and that it's it's he knows how to play football um and it's down to the technique and i also like he coached our position so he can come into our room and he he really knows how to play that position and he coached some great players um but just today even we just we were getting a little sloppy and he called us together and it's not a coach telling us he's part we're all part of a unit and he's like, come on guys. And he's building us up and he does a great job of giving people credit when they, when they deserve it. He, it, today he was showing clips of the scout team, how well they've been doing. Um, I just think he does a lot of things, right. Um, he makes you want to play for him. He makes you want to play hard for him. Joey Bosa here before Monday night football against the Las Vegas Raiders and first place on the line here. Uh, obviously the Broncos are also three and zero, and they'll have already played the Ravens by the time you kick off in SoFi uh, on Monday night. And so uh, what's the challenge here against a, a, a team that's unblemished and hot with a quarterback who's amassed the most yards so far through the mm -hmm. first three weeks? Joey. Yeah, number one offense Monday night after a big win. Um, another thing Coach Staley was talking about is you're not going to win this game because you beat the Chiefs last week. You're going to win this game because you put in a lot of hard work during the week and you practice really hard and prepared really well for these guys. So it's something you got to put in every single day. Um, I think we've done a really good job th this week preparing. Obviously, face car many times kind of got a revamp, revamped O-line, which will be interesting to see. But they've been doing a great job. Um, they have some great weapons with Waller and uh, Renfro. And Carr just does a good job of getting that ball out really quick. So it's another game where we're going to have to control the pocket. Obviously, they can't do he can't do the same amount of damage outside the pocket like a guy, a guy like Mahomes can. But um, it's going to be a fun challenge. Uh, rookie right tackle, he's been doing a good job. So... It's uh, we think that they're going to come in here and try to run the ball uh, 30 second run defense so far, which is not too good out of 32. Um, but I think we've we've done a good job. We've obviously prepared for the pass uh, heavily in the last two weeks. So um, I think we just have to stop that run and, and manage car and keep them in a tight pocket. And lastly for you, Joey, you got your own top notch quarterback. Clearly give me a good Justin Herbert story. Obviously you've chased down some of the best 
in the NFL yeah. and you practice against this kid and you see him all the time. You got a good Justin Herbert story for me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have a, a great story yet. We haven't had too many, uh, too many experiences outside of football together yet, but okay. I mean, he's just, he is unbelievable. But what I love about him the most is he's just such a humble, nice kid. Um, I call him a kid. He's a year younger than me. But, but, yeah. You've um, been in the league six years. Yeah, though, yeah, I mean, yeah. So. No, but he's, uh, he's great. And like I said, he's so humble. It's almost like he doesn't even know he's such a superstar. Um, but it's just so great to have a guy like that back there when you get a third and long. And in my head, I'm like, all right we're going to get this. Like we have a great chance with a guy like Herbert Keenan, Mike, all the weapons that we have. And uh, I think he's just going to keep getting better. He has such a strong arm that I feel like he almost throws it too hard sometimes. And as he gets older, he'll, he'll, he'll re refine that touch and just keep getting smarter and um, to be able to do the things he can on his legs as well, stay on his feet and kind of make things out of nothing. He's a, I need a ne next victory. I'll definitely be over there for his victory brisket. <laughs> I love it. Well, have a great Monday nighter, Joey. Uh, enjoy that stadium. How great is that stadium? How great yeah, is that it's fun? great. It's great. Yeah. I mean, I wish it was grass, but I'll take it. Yeah, I know. I, I hear you. But I, I mean, just it's one of the loudest places I've ever mm. been to, period. Yeah, hopefully we get a good showing out of some some blue and yellow this week. I know the the Raiders fans definitely travel well. I've felt true. that before. <laughs> That's true. Well, good luck with that. And Joey, thanks yeah. for the time here. Have a great Monday nighter, and uh, let's chat more down the line. Appreciate definitely. it. Definitely. Thank you. Have a good one. You got it. That's Joey Bosa right here before Monday Night Football against the Las Vegas Raiders. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.